All right, guys, I have two stocks that I have been holding in my portfolio and I have never been more bullish long term. We've got some, we have one very safe, son of run of the mill, great value stock that made some great moves this past week and I could not be more bullish for it in the future. Long term yield, long term returns, something that they've been going forward and they're going to keep going forward with it. And I'll get to that one after the intro goes. And we have another one, mid cap stock making some big money moves with some new mergers and acquisitions. You know, this stock is something that I hold in my portfolio and I am so bullish for over the years that I think it's an easily five times return on my investment within five years. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Financial forecaster, let's go over some two stocks that I think are going to be great for your portfolio. They're great in my portfolio. And at the end of the day, I'm not a financial advisor, but I'm watching these stocks. I'm watching the moves that they're making and I am not sleeping on these because we're looking to get rich together this is the financial forecaster let's get into it two great stocks for my portfolio and maybe yours ah. all right the first stock the 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 one with the, the real meat in the bones for something that we're looking for long term and great uh, yield and return we're looking at granite REIT. You know I have Granite REIT in my portfolio. You know other than Rio Can, it is my absolute favorite REIT play. This is an industrial space REIT play. It's a, it's a company with great management. It's a company with absolute great capital deployment and they are not stopping with a new tranche of acquisitions. They're, 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 they just bought $368 million of more leasable space. They just bought deal offered $275 million at $79. The shares were only at like $81 when this was announced and it dipped back down to that bot deal offering, but immediately the next day started rising again. The fact that they made a bot deal offering that was such a slight discount under what the shares already were at is something you really, really wanna see. You don't wanna see a bot deal offering where these companies go to a bank and or a major financial institution to sell these shares and they're undercutting them like 10, 15, 20% to get these shares and they're just giving them out. That's not how you make value in a stock. That's not how they, that's not how they'd be nice to shareholders. You want a company that knows the value of their shares and sells them when they can get that value and they can get that value back long term. This company just did that at $79. They're already over that and that shows to me that some of the most trusted, largest underwriters of this country bought into this and at a fantastic price for shareholders. This is a great REIT with a great dividend. It's a monthly payer. So to get that drip, you're putting in like $24,000, $25,000, if not more at, of this stock. It is absolutely terrifying to get a drip, but that still doesn't mean you can't get that lovely, I believe it is around a 3% yield. I'll put it up there. I'm not exactly sure on it because I don't have my numbers in front of me because I'm just talking to you guys. I'm talking about an industrial REIT, someone that leases giant spaces to massive companies, specifically Magna when it comes to granite, so car parts, but they are diversifying heavily away from that. So these new acquisitions, what did they do? They bought a whole Whole bunch of new leasable space. They bought $368 million, a little bit in the States and a lot of in, in the greater Toronto area. And everybody knows that's been on fire, but it will continue to be on fire. And what this does when a REIT buys a property, they buy the property, they milk it for all it's worth, and then they just start paying the distributions out. Anything that makes it'll pay for itself and then it will continue to pay for itself. That's what a REIT does. They buy space, they get it rented and then eventually it pays for itself and then they just keep growing and growing and growing. That's fantastic. When a stock has a share price that other people want to buy it at, underwriters specifically, bot deal offerings can be a great tool to raise money and give shareholders value down the road. So would I buy more granite right now? I definitely would. I bought just like three or four more shares the other day. It is a great stock to have in a portfolio if you're looking for REIT exposure. This is an industrial REIT, not apartments, not retails. These are big warehouses they're buying. And that is something that the world is will never not need going into the future. So Granite REIT, is it going to make you the moon? It's not going to make you the moon. Is it going to make you a dependable, great yield? Yes. Are they going to increase that yield down the road? 
Yes, almost guaranteed. I can't promise that one. But is it going to slowly appreciate over the years with these smart acquisitions? That is what you can bet on. I am at least expecting 5 to 10% by year end raise in this. And I think that's pretty good for a REIT. So granite REIT, it is fantastic. Look it up. But that's going to bring us to our number two, the one that you're going to make a little bit more money, but it's a little bit more risky. And that one is coming up. Here we go. And the real big winner today, guys, Well Health. Like, I don't know if you didn't, if you saw Well Health today, but they went up over, like, like I got, I got to see it for you. Let, let me, let me, they went up 9% today, almost 10. They went up 10% today on news of a new acquisition. Now, this is no strength. If you're a Well Health fanatic or you're someone who's even been watching Well Health, you know they're an acquisition mas machine. This company wants to be the a holdings company of the telehealth clinic space and they are buying huge huge companies and this today was no different last time not a big deal when they bought something people are a little iffy but the market reacted positively and that's what we want to see because we want to see the market react positively to these buys because then we know the share price and the company is going into the right direction so this time they bought my health guys this is a big deal in Canada. My Health was a giant piece of the puzzle that Well Health has added to their portfolio and they've now become the largest outpatient medical clinic owner, operator, and leading multidisciplinary telehealth service provider in Canada. What does that all mean? It means they're becoming a force. So if you're an investor and you're looking at Well Health, this is a company that's not taking a back seat. They don't want to be this small company. They don't want to just carve out a niche and live in that niche. This is a company that wants to become dominant in the space in Canada. They want to push as hard as they can into America. And you know, once these they're buying all these companies, and these aren't small companies, by the way. These are large companies. And they bought it today. And they went up 10%. That is a boat of confidence from the market that a lot of people don't see in their stock portfolio. They don't buy companies when... Like they buy these big multinational blue chip companies that when they buy another company, it's very, it's, it's barely a blip on the radar. When Well Health buys another company, it's another chapter of this book that they are writing because they want to come in and they want to own this space. So Well Health, am I going to wait for a pullback to buy more? Probably. There's always a pullback in the stock market. Did I already hold a position? About six grand worth of shares. I love them. I think it is a relatively safe mid-cap play. Now remember, not a financial advisor. I'm only telling you guys because I own Well Health in my portfolio, and I'm super excited to watch them execute this. I said it before, I've had multiple videos on Well Health, but every time they make a move, I just want to tell you guys how excited I am that they keep executing on that plan, and hopefully they continue to execute on that plan and to show those businesses that they buy that they can bring them into the fold, that they can make them more profitable, more efficient, and just be able to merge their merge it in, all into profit. Like, well, what do we want to see? We want to see them get these clinics, not only be a great company, but show turnarounds for these stocks, and that's what we like to see. So we got Granite REIT, great industrial REIT, making some very smart moves, expanding more acquisitions. When you have a REIT, all you want them to do, more leasable space, good price, good future growth. When you have Well Health, we have this fledgling company that's coming on the scene, funded by some of the richest people in the world, and they are hungry for success. And I'm betting on them with my own money. And if you're betting them on with your money, man, we're in this together. Let's get rich together. I'm super excited. Granite Reed, Well Health, check them out. Thanks for joining. Getting Rich Together, Financial Forecaster, out.